All right, welcome back. My name is Alna from alnacane.com. And for today, I'm gonna show you freelance writing work for complete beginners. If you're brand new to freelance writing, I thought I can show you three clients that I have that I got when I started brand new in 2014, 2015 is when I first started as a brand new freelance writer. And you can see the three different clients that I landed around that time. So I thought that can help you if you're brand new to freelance writing. So the first one that I'm I'm going to show you here it's just in my list there's no particular order i don't remember which one i landed first and second and third and so on and so on but the first one is clear they weren't named that brand when i first worked with them as you can see here this was their brand twitterland or something like that so they hired me they also had other writers on their blog but they hired me to write social media email marketing influencer marketing type of content since i was pivoting towards digital marketing this was the perfect client for me i was ecstatic and excited to to write about these new topics that I've never written before. So something like a blogger outreach campaign, that was brand new to me. And so I was able to write this. I believe this client though had an outline. I'm not quite sure if they did. I think they had gave me an outline for these topics. And so I was just researching those subtopics in my content. This is what I wrote in the beginning. It seems everywhere you turn these days, people are bombarded with celebrity advertising. On TV, you often see an influential actor or athlete promoting a product to improve brand awareness and increase sales. Remember Michael Jackson's Pepsi commercial? Or how about more recently, Britney Spears' 2002 Pepsi commercial? Pepsi Co. has done a remarkable job. And that's just a snippet. So you can see it's part of the introduction that I have here. And then I go into, so you can see with first freelance writing job for beginners, it's blog writing. Blog writing can be your first freelance writing job and your last freelance writing job. I love blog writing. It's only just recently that I fell in love with it again with the specific type of blog writing that I'm doing on my blog and for other clients is now. There was a period of time where I did get sort of burnt out and so I wanted to do shorter copy so like emails and more copywriting and that's fun too but blog writing by itself is a sustainable freelance writing job for a beginner and for a long time freelance writer. You can work your way up from these gigs paid me I, I want to say something like uh, maybe 75 to 150 a post something like that and then and I was able to work my way up to, you know, commanding higher rates, you know, 38 cents a word, 45 cents a word, 50 cents a word, and so on for a simple blog post. Now I say simple, but the blog post for the client is not simple. It is a particular piece of content that will bring in leads, will, will help them grow their business, gain traffic, email subscribers, whatever their end goal is for that blog post. I'm there to help them. As a beginner, I think picking up these blog writing jobs is perfect. Usually it's consistent. They want one a week, two a month, whatever it is. And they are easy to research. And the topic hopefully is within your you know, wheelhouse of knowledge. But you'll see the next two clients are not digital marketing. So before I even picked up this client, I believe I was I was just writing anything. I was picking up gigs anywhere. And then one of them was here, the allergy kit. I had to go to Wayback Machine to capture this because they took away my blog posts. They have blog posts. It's still running this company, but they got rid of my section because it's from a long time ago, <laughs> 2015, I believe. But here is a blog post of mine. Discover the one thing you need to add to your diet. It was written in 2015. So you can see this was one of my original clients that I had. And I have my little bio here on the side and I wrote a blog post. I knew how to write a blog post, the structure it needed, it needed credible sources, interleaking, things like that, where I was able to write a blog post in the health niche about something like this. Now, would this blog post be sellable in current years? It could be. I mean, it's an in-depth post, but you know, clients these days want a little bit more than just something like this, where you can pick and choose your sources quickly and just come up with a, a generic blog post. Now, since this was my, one of my first gigs, the client liked it and they didn't feel that it was generic. But when I look at over now, it, it does seem a little bit generic that you would see something like this in a any typical blog post. The fact that the post is called discover one thing you need to add to your diet isn't really appealing, isn't keyworded, isn't social media marketing optimized, all of that. But the client gave me this topic. They also had me review their allergy kit and I used it and wrote about it. So, I mean, it was an interesting gig for sure. And I learned a lot, but I don't think I was paid very much for this. I think it, yeah, it was around $75 a post for this. And I wrote with for them for a while. I don't remember how the relationship ended. Same 
with my other ones here. So the other client was Wheels. This was actually one of the first gigs that I picked up. This was through a job ad. And so I was able to scour the job ads, find this pitch. And I did a, I think it was either a phone call or a Zoom call or something like that. And we talked it out and I got the gig. Now wheels.ca is a division of the Toronto Star. I mean, this is like a, a newspaper. I was ecstatic to get this gig and I wrote for them for a while. You can see lots of posts here that I wrote for them. The very first one was, this was the first one I wrote for them. It was sort of journalistic in nature. Why are gas prices low and what it means for Canadians? And I really was interested in this type of writing as well, which was more journalistic in nature. I mean, I didn't go out to interview anyone, but I was able to read other other newspaper articles and seeing what kind of information they used in their articles, what was important in a newspaper article, and was able to write something like this. Again, using credible sources, talking about these things, and I got paid for this, and I got paid for all my other posts that I did. As you can see, as a beginner freelance writer, I mean, there is no end to what type of content you pick up, but I honestly believe blog writing is your best bet for your beginner freelance writing job, and it's highly versatile. Once you know blog writing, you can start your own blog. You can write guest posts, right? You can write ghost writing for influencers that have no time to write blog posts. I'm following an influencer and she makes it known that she has a ghost writer writing all the content on her blog. People do hire freelance writers to write blog posts just as much as they would write, hire, let's say, a copywriter to do website design or a homepage. That's a job that's in need as well, doing website copy. Those two are similar, but website copy, I mean, it's a level of copywriting. I don't think it's the best for a beginner freelance writing job. Uh, go with blog writing first, and then you can move your way up to copywriting or other projects. I do have freelance blogging in a weekend for you, and this is my blogging course. So I do teach you freelance blogging and how to increase your rate by the type of writing that I'm teaching you. Review writing, SEO writing, long form writing, viral writing, all of these different types of writing skills that you learn in this course, and then you can charge premium rates for that. So I do have this course. I don't market it enough. I actually love this course and I've been updating it here and there. Take a look at Freelance Blogging the Weekend. If you are struggling to move past, you picked up like what I have here, a couple of, of blog writing gigs. They're paying $50 a post, $75 a post, and you just can't break the $100 a post barrier. Then this is the course for you to really just up level your skill to write effective blog posts that clients want. So there you go. Those are the uh, my three beginner clients that I had and all of them were blog writing and I got this question in my community tab of the type of freelance writing work for complete beginners and you know my answer is blog writing get into blog writing and no matter what niche you you have like I I wrote in allergy niche I wrote in the automotive niche I wrote in social media other clients that I couldn't find were uh, wedding dentistry career work at home virtual effects I had a lot of different clients in different in industries. And that helped me find the one true niche, which was digital marketing from writing all of that. And it, I think it helped me excel in blog writing effectively by writing so many different types of content, researching all these topics and things like that. That really helped me fine tune my strategy and develop what I am doing now. All right. So there you go. That's a little snapshot of my first clients. And hopefully that helped you. Let me know in the comments below what you are leaning towards. Do you like blog writing? Do you want to just jump into Facebook ad writing, sales writing, email writing? Let me know. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more videos just like this.